Hello, good evening all. Welcome to BISP Solutions. Today we are covering bank to bank transfer in SAP. So what is it? Bank to bank transfer is nothing but transferring the funds from one bank to another bank. It is also called book transfer. We have different type of transfer, intra-company transfer and inter-company transfer. Intra-company transfer means transferring funds between two house bank on the same company code or between bank account of the same house bank. Whereas intercompany transfer means transferring the funds between the bank accounts of the two company codes. The two company codes belong to same country or it may belong to multiple countries. So let's see how to configure this in SAP. Before that, we must have house bank in a uh, house bank created in SAP. So I already have already created house bank. Also, we have a video on the house bank creation. If you want to learn how to create a house bank in SAP, please do watch our video on it. I will show you SPZP house bank. My company code is N102. Let's see, house bank, uh, HDFC bank and SBI, okay. Go back, go back, SPRO, enter, SAP reference IMG, then financial accounting, then bank accounting, then bank accounts, sorry, business transaction, then payment transaction, first payment request. Define number ranges for payment request. Click on it. Intervals. See, it is already defined. Then go back. Now, define clearing account for receiving bank for account transfer. Enter. I have already created this. I will show you how to create this in SAP. Click on new entry. We need to do this procedure for all the house banks. Company code, suppose in my case, it is N102. Enter, then house bank. Select the house bank from here. Suppose it's DFC. Country is India. Payment method. India, bank transfer, then currency, INR, then account ID, HDFC, and clearing account. Here we, you have to give the clearing account. I have not created any clearing account. I am using the bank account only. Okay, now save. See, I have already maintained. So it is not allowing me to save the data. So let's go back. See, N102, it is for HDFC bank and it is for SBI bank. I have already created this. Then financial accounting, then bank accounting, then bank accounts, then business transaction, then payment transaction, then payment request, define, we did this step. Now define clearing account for cross country bank account transfer. See, 
if you want to transfer the funds in other countries you can create here say new entry give your company code name and payment account means bank account go back now next is payment handling bank clearing account determination define account determination paying code n102 enter see here you have to give your house bank number then p it is for transfer method then give your currency then give account id and this is bank sub account it means ledger i will show you 1291 HDFC and 1292 is SBI account. I will show you this ledgers. FS00, enter. Current assets, HDFC bank. So this is balance sheet item, then account group is current asset, then HDFC bank, control data, give the currency here, then it is, our first status group is G005, it is for bank accounts, and give your house bank account here, HDFC and SBI. So, okay, let's go to the screen. Go to our configuration screen, okay. After this, just save the data and go back. Now, check account determination. Here, we just need to check it. Okay. Enter. See, clearing account for house, house banks are consistent, okay. Now, after this, open one more session. Type T code OT81. See here there is a concept of repetitive codes. Here we have to define these codes. House Bank. HDFC. This is ID. And click on create select bank account repetitive code you can give hdfc HDFC to SBI. Okay, this is paying company code. So here, processing bank is a sender bank, whereas target bank is a receiver bank. In target company, we can also transfer to another company here. But I'm transferring to the same company code, under the same company code. Select the bank. See, I want to transfer from HDFC to SBI. So I'm selecting SBI here, account ID, SBI, and payment method. India transfer and then save currency INR. And then save.
here we we are transferring from SBI to HDFC, okay? And then create. Okay, enter your house bank and account ID, then click on create, click on bank and enter. Then give the repetitive code, say SBI to HDFC and 102. Now paying company code is N102, house bank is SBI. From SBI to, we are transferring to HDFC bank. Give the HDFC bank ID. Now give the payment method. Select from here. And then enter currency. And save. Changes have been saved. Now go back. See, it is in the red status. Now we have to release this. Highlight this, select this, and click on this flag. Now see, status is green. Now save. Okay, now go back. Next step is FRFT underscore B. This is the user transaction code. See, OT81. First, we use this, then, second one is FRFT underscore B. It is a user transaction code. Go back. FRFT underscore B. Enter. Now. Enter. See. Now this time, I want to transfer from SBI to HDFC bank. Enter the amount. Say 80,000. Create payment request. See, payment request 9 was generated from repetitive code SBI HDFC and 102. Okay, then highlight this and click on release button. Now, payment request 9 has been released. Click on OK. Then again, highlight this and click on pay. The selected payment request were paid with payment run. This is a 002R. Okay. Now let's go and check. Open one more session. Go to F111. For payment run, we use F110. But for this, we are using T code F111. Enter C. Parameters have been entered. Payment run has been carried out. Posting order 1 generated and 1 completed. So let's go to FPL 3N. Enter 1 to 9 1 to 1 to 9 2. Enter. 
we have transferred 18 80000 right hdfc hdfc account debited 40 and sb account credited because we transferred from sbi to hdfc fs10 we have transferred from sbi right into 92 enter 80000 credited from this account sbi account in SBI, it is debited, whereas in HDFC, 80,000 is debited. Okay, I hope you understand how to do bank to bank transfer in SAP. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.